are you starting to feel that lawmakers are starting to get some heat for the decisions that they're making to cut back on um, some of the money from the well, MEDC and especially I mean, the that, earned income tax credit? Yeah, I mean, that was the intent. Um, that's part of the strategy. Let these House members get beat up really, really good um, over the, all of these, uh, the unintended consequences of their cuts and of, of their decision. Let them see the holes in their plan. Let it get shot all the heck. And then sometime in the next few weeks, the Senate will come up with a more realistic plan that the governor will probably side with and maybe we'll get something done. Would a real, uh, a more realistic plan, Stephen, include pushback on the cutting of the earned income tax credit? I think it has to. I think that's a, it's an outrageous uh, part of this proposal. Uh, the, the idea that a tax hike on the poorest people in the state is the right is the right way to, to deal with this when when we keep talking about the the need to not burden business or not burden rich people uh, I mean the, the the whole discussion here is headed in the wrong direction and I think uh, you need the governor uh, to stand up and say no we're not going there the house is looking at um, being slapped with responsibility for this going into the 2016 elections if people people are here this time next year with no viable road fix, no plan, uh, roads still deteriorating, the House House Republicans are going to get the heck beat out of them <laughs> and um, may lose the majority. There's also this idea being floated by some Democrats, this disastrous idea <clears throat> to go to a graduated income tax and use that money to fix the roads. Disastrous and I think because, because 34 it, would other put states the, do it? it would put this, it would forfeit <laughs> one of the few advantages tax wise this state has and that's a flat income tax that has worked well for us uh, for years. It actually doesn't work great. well. It, it's a, it actually well. leaves about $700 million a you year on the You look into states that have these graduated income tax. Maryland, and first, Massachusetts, and New York, And the first California. places they go, and they're driving businesses out of the <laughs> no, state. No, they're not. They're, California they're doing is now better than we 11, are. 12 percent state income tax. <laughs> it would be a disaster, and the, their house is facing this, this threat. Now, I think the house will end up coming along by the end of the summer to a plan that raises fuel taxes and implements about three, four hundred million dollars.